in this video I'll show you how to connect your Canon IV printer, this is the IV Mini 2 but it works with IV Mini 1 as well, to any smartphone. Could be iPhones or Androids like the one I'm using right now. It's very easy so let's get started. If you still have the box of your Canon IV, you just need to scan this QR code to download this app from Canon. If not, you can go directly in the Google Play Store and search for Canon Mini Print. Like this. Now it will direct me to the Play Store and this is the app Canon Mini Print from Canon USA Inc. You just have to install this app. In the meanwhile, make sure that your Canon IV printer is fully charged. Okay, perfect. The app is downloaded. Now, just before opening it, I suggest that you turn on your Canon IV printer. Just keep press on the power button until you see a small light flashing over here and a small light flashing here too. When you'll turn on the Canon IV printer after putting brand new film, you always get this blue card coming out first. This is perfectly normal. It happens as soon as you turn on the Canon printer and you can remove it and throw it away. You don't need it anymore. Now go ahead and open the app. Here it tells you to charge the printer, but we already did it. So we can just skip by pressing the top left corner over here. And it will give you again this screen telling you that you can actually create an account. We don't need it. So we'll just tap anywhere outside the small rectangle and now to connect the printer you need to uh, click over here on the top right corner where it says disconnected since there's no printer connected allow here I like to uh, choose while using the app and then add a new printer click on the plus sign Now it will search for the, any mini printers from Canon around. You can see mine over here, Canon mini printer. Just tap on it. Pair Canon mini printer, of course, yes. So we'll tap on pair. And we're done. Here we can see that the battery is at 100%. You can even tap on it. And just to confirm over here, it has the small green icon with our printer. Now to print a picture, you have many options here. You can print from the photo album, make a collage, which means that there's many small pictures on the actual uh, paper and a layout. So you can write stuff, make a label, pre-cut stickers is if you have the round stickers that Canon sells. But in our case, we're going to choose photo album. This is the easiest one, really. Just tap on it. You need to allow uh, the app to search for all the pictures on your phone. Here I have a few that I want to print. Let's say I want to print this one. I'll tap on it. And here it will give you a preview how it will look on the actual paper that will print. So you have many options. You can tap adjust here if you want to adjust the contrast, saturation, color balance. You can really edit the picture quite well. You can save it by clicking the small check or X if you want to uh, remove every changes that you just made. You can add frames. Again, if you want to save those changes, press the check mark, if not the X. You can even add text, filters. I won't go through every here, but there's a lot of option. In my case, I just want uh, to zoom in a bit so the dog is bigger. To do this, you just have to take two of your fingers and to pinch in or pinch out and just place the picture the way you really want it. Once you're happy with uh, the result, all you have to do is to press the top right corner here, this small button that, that shows the printer and the printer will start printing the picture. So let's do it. Again, just make sure that you have paper in the printer and it's fully charged, it's turned on. Press the button. It will take just a few seconds. It's sending the picture to the printer. And the printer is finally starting. 
it's better to lay the printer on a flat surface. I know it can print, uh, I know it's not obligated, but I just prefer it to be flat, um, to not mess up. And the print is slowly coming out of here. You can even see it on your screen. It goes a bit faster on the screen. I wish it was that fast on the printer itself. And we're done. Once, the, once you don't hear the printer working anymore and the picture just went out completely this way, you can put your phone down. We don't need it anymore. You can actually go back and if you want to print it again, just do it again. If not, go back and you can save this picture that you just modified here. You can discard it as well. This is what I'll do. And you can continue printing. Now let's check the picture. Here we go. Very nice. It has a sticky back, so you can put it whatever you want. And this is it. This is how you print using your Canon IV printer with any smartphone. Again, I did it on an Android phone, but you can do the same on a iPhone without any problems. It's the same steps. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment, leave a like, check the affiliate link in the description if you want to get from Amazon a new printer or more paper for your printer, and I'll see you in the next one.